Good morning. Our challenge on day 11 is to read Philippians chapter 2. Philippians chapter 2 has got one of the earliest statements about the deity of Christ uh, that we know of, and it's probably in the form of a hymn. It uh, starts in chapter, in chapter 2, verse 5. Make your own attitude that of Christ, who, although existing in the form of God, did not consider equality with God something to be used for his own advantage. Instead, he emptied himself, assuming the form of a slave and taking on the likeness of men. When he had become a man in his eternal form, external form, he humbled himself, becoming obedient even to the death of the cross. So the suffering that Jesus went through for our benefit uh, is was sung about and and remembered and passed on from Christian to Christian from the very beginning. And this gave them comfort, as we've discussed at this church, was in the midst of some severe suffering as well. And likewise, Paul so easily identifies with this church because here he is in prison writing to this church. So they're suffering, he's suffering, and we always remember that Christ was the one who ultimately suffered for our benefit. We zip down and we want to think about verses 15 and 16 here. So that you can be blameless and pure, children of God who are faultless in a crooked and perverse generation, among whom you shine like stars in the world. Hold firmly to this message of life. Then I can boast in the day of Christ that I didn't run or labor for nothing. We have to hold firm to our belief and our trust and our conviction in Jesus. And he says, even if I'm poured out like a drink offering, I'm glad that I rejoice with all of you. We can rejoice no matter what's going on in our life, no matter what's going on in our world, no matter what we face, what opposition is coming along. We can still rejoice because we have this firm conviction in the faith and the trust and the belief in Jesus and the knowledge that he is working for our benefit. He's already saved us. He's already guaranteed us a place in heaven. After that, everything else is just icing on the cake. Be blessed.